Welcome to the DKOU TV studio, where I'm now joined by Professor Niemeyer. Very welcome. Yeah, thanks for the invitation. Thanks for being here. Professor Niemeyer, what are the key topics and trends in meniscus and cartilage therapy discussed this year at the DKOU? So basically, when we are talking about the meniscus and the cartilage, we are talking about joint preservation, which is definitely a topic which gains of relevance since middle-aged or even older patients are more and more active. and. Uh, our ultimate goal is actually to avoid any kind of total joint replacement. What we definitely will be discussing this year is the importance of the meniscus. We have really had some new publications that show that the meniscus is no, not only a buffer in the joint, but it's only relevant for stability. We know much about the interaction between the meniscus on the one hand side and the cartilage on the other hand side, and I'm really looking forward to join these sessions. So what are some of the key challenges in current therapy of meniscus and cartilage conditions? So when talking about the meniscus, definitely the goal is to preserve the meniscus somehow. In former days, we have performed many surgeries in which resection of the meniscus or partial resection was performed. And the strategies how to improve our healing rates when meniscus refixation is performed is definitely a topic which is important biological augmentation, and as I said before, the interaction to the articular cartilage. Why is this topic for you interesting, privately, personally? I'm also a sportive person. I'm, I want to stay active even uh, once I'm getting older, as everybody else of us uh, is. And uh, I st strongly believe that initial trauma, for instance, is one of the key parameters which might induce an osteoarthritis and uh, therefore the strategies to deal the initial injury is definitely something which I'm personally also interested in. What are your predictions for the future? So uh, what we learned referring to cartilage uh, repair strategies, we have introduced some really innovative uh, treatment options in recent years. For instance, autologous cell transplantation, which has been introduced in the 90s. And we have also introduced, talking about the meniscus, about complex suturing techniques and refixation techniques. And bringing these together is definitely something which I believe is a challenge for the future. Early osteoarthritis, so when degeneration begins in a joint, is definitely something we have to overcome because that's still the major limitation of every kind of joint preservation. So if we take a look back to the last 20 years, what was the most important step in this topic? What do you think? In my opinion, actually, the most important step was that we learned to deal with acute injuries somehow, talking about cartilage repair, but we never really learned to deal with chronic injuries and chronicity, inflammation in the joint. And uh, that's, as I said before, the challenge which I consider most important for the future. That's good. So we are on a way, on a good way, but there's a lot to go. And we will start here in Berlin. Very good. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for being here.